All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take a look at another practice problem from the beginning of Module 1. So please put your name and your number at the top of your page. Again, we're looking at Module 1 here. Module 1 notes. But this is going to be a little bit different because we are not going to be learning anything new necessarily. We're just getting a little bit of extra practice. So go ahead and put that at the top, please. Okay. Now once again, I'm going to give you a word problem. I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. You are going to write part of this down. I do want you to have the information in front of you. You're going to get to a certain point and pause the video so you can try to solve this on your own. Okay. All right. So the setup for today. We have a paper airplane contest. There is a paper airplane contest being held. And we have three competitors that we're going to compare today. Three people who threw their paper airplanes. Our first competitor, Marcel, throws their paper airplane three and 345 thousandths of a meter. Our next competitor, Salvador, Salvador throws their paper airplane three and 35 hundredths of a meter. And finally, we have Jennifer. Jennifer throws their airplane three and three tenths meters. Now, based on these measurements, whose plane traveled the farthest? Whose plane traveled the farthest? whose plane traveled the farthest. Now, you're going to need to use these measurements. I would also suggest you use a place value chart. Now, we don't have to draw the entire thing out, but we will be doing a little bit. So I'm going to use this straight edge. Okay, if you have a ruler or pretty much anything at home that has a straight edge to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just draw one line. Then bit further than halfway over, probably around, actually now let's do half. I'm going to draw a line that goes one above and three or four below. And I'm going to put another one really close because this is where the decimals are going. And then I'll go out a little bit further for my ones column, a little bit further for my tens column, hundreds column. And to the right of the decimal, same kind of thing. Here's my tenths, my hundredths, my thousandths. In fifth grade, we don't really go out any further than that. So ones, tens, hundreds, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Put these numbers into the place value chart. Build out around the decimal point. And let's see which one is which one shows the plane that traveled the farthest. Go ahead and pause the video. Whose plane traveled the farthest? Alright, welcome back. Hopefully you paused and worked this out. Okay. If we take these numbers. And we take a look, they all have the same ones column. They all start with three. If I go into the next column, and this works because up here we lined up the decimal point just like it is here. If I look into the next column, the tenths column, three, 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 they all have identical ones and tenths 
up until that point, they're the same. It's only when we get here that we see a difference. Now obviously Marcel has a measurement out to the thousandth place as well, but we have to be careful because as soon as we get to something different, then we're really, we're done. We look and see which one is bigger. Four or five, Marcel or Salvador? Well, Salvador's got a five. So even though Marcel had a four, and then another digit, it really doesn't matter because this five in the hundredths is greater than that four in the hundredths, which means Salvador is our winner. Now again, why isn't Marcel the winner? Marcel has a longer number, but Marcel's number, even though it's longer, this five thousandths is way smaller than that extra hundredth. This becomes more obvious if I put this invisible zero, right? Salvador has a zero in the thousandths place. Take a look at 50 compared to 45. 50, five and an invisible zero, five and zero. 50 is bigger than 45, right? That's why Salvador threw his plane farther than Marcel. And really, poor Jennifer, we didn't even talk too much about Jennifer's distance because unfortunately, oops, come on, focus, there we go, because Jennifer's plane, these are all invisible zeros, 300 compared to 345 compared to the farthest, 350. So, let's write our answer and then we'll be done. Whose plane traveled the farthest? Salvador's plane traveled the farthest. Salvador's plane traveled the farthest. And please make sure you write out that sentence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. We'll have another word problem next time. If you have any questions, any comments or concerns, please make sure you email me or bring them to class. I'll see you then.